So I'll just assume you've already heard of this COPPA going on. So I'm just gonna jump into it. So what actually is going on right now is that suddenly YouTube um, had to pay a hundred and seventy million dollars because they were taking kids private information for ads right because if you want to get targeted ads uh, you need to get some information what uh, that person likes and it is you know you know basically how ads work on YouTube is depending on what you watch what you're interested in that's what kind of ads you're gonna get right and the thing is you have to be 13 years old to sign up to YouTube and if you're not 13 years old you have to use the YouTube kids app but of course a lot of kids did not use the YouTube kids and just you know are faking on um, and making you know accounts uh, that are over 13 even though they're not so even though uh, parents should be responsible for this kind of stuff right YouTube gets fined for this mistake um, and there's nothing they can really do now so what happens is now um, when you actually upload a video you have to determine and mark the video as if it's made for kids or if it's not made for kids now it was a bit for me at least very confusing for a while what this actually means and by the way if you wanna just get a very large complete round out of what the hell this copper thing is about I really recommend the game theorist um, video uh, Matt Pat made a really good explanation of what the hell's going on. So anyway, I did not know what the hell this meant. If it's what does it mean? Made for kids, not made for kids. And I just marked all my videos not made for kids because I don't know. I don't feel like I make videos especially for kids. So I actually did a lot of research on YouTube. Actually watched a lot of videos. What's going on? Read the whole copper thing that tells you what videos for kids are supposed to be and the thing is this is I first thought it was like family friendly content or not family friendly content but it's not it's literally made for kids means videos that are targeted especially at kids and the reason why this is happening is because when you mark a video made for kids there's not going to be any targeted ads on it uh, which reduces the ad revenue on that video by like 90 percent so if you make a video for made for kids you basically don't get any money out of it let's just be real but how do you know what is for kids well in their whole list of what things are you you can see they're saying stuff like oh like cartoon stuff that includes like I don't know characters that kids like and stuff which makes sense right you don't want like s some cartoons or people making um, like very things that just attract kids and then make money out of that right you don't want to get ads on that and that makes sense but then you get into the whole creators area right and here we're pe we're creators even myself right that I'm not you know I'm just making videos for fun but where the line ends is we don't know what we can still make because for example Minecraft right Minecraft is the biggest example like as well as Fortnite there are two games well Minecraft more a better example is a game that could be targeted at absolutely anyone right but a lot of kids a lot of kids watch minecraft so does that mean that is not uh, that the every minecraft video is not made for kids or not right and you this is the point where you might think well what's the issue right you just mark it as not for kids you're good you have the ad revenue no the 
problem is if you mark from uh, January 1st 2020 on if you mar mark a video wrong so if you make a video that is actually you know kind of for kids or we don't even because we don't know what the hell is for kids and whatnot so let's say you make a micro video you say it's not for kids but the FTC or COPPA thing they think that it is for kids what happens well you can get fined not just find just a few bucks not you don't get fined up to a hundred bucks you don't get fined up to five hundred bucks you don't get fined up to a thousand bucks you get fined up to forty two fucking thousand dollars you know how much money that is and let's say you have a series of episodes of minecraft that is like a hundred episodes you're literally a hundred times for forty two thousand US dollars which comes out at you know four million dollars plus great and the reason the thing is I probably people like me who are not YouTube partners or whatever because they don't have enough enough subs and watch time and stuff like that I don't know how this affects me either and no one knows how this is going to affect people what is actually going to be kid friendly and not kid friendly or made for kids or whatever until January 1st when there's probably gonna be like a I don't even know what's gonna happen everyone is probably gonna have to change their direction of videos right now you know everyone like you're gonna have to cause if you go too far up into not family friendly content you get demonetized so either you make content for kids you get no revenue you make content you make some kind of content that you think is not for kids but they the FTC COPPA think they the the video is for kids okay cool you get fined 42k for that cool goodbye or you make videos that are not that are actually not made for kids but then they take it too seriously and it's too edgy and you get demonetized there's such a small s line where you what you actually can do from january 1st on so let's think of for example my channel right what do i do on my channel i play for example minecraft feed the beast okay i can see that as you know made for kids sure but then you have RL craft, which I did. And that is a bit more intense, I would say. You craft weapons, you like fight big ass freaking monsters and stuff. Like, you know, it's not something a six year old kid should be watching, right? And then I have the World of Tanks and War Thunder videos. Okay, if those are for kids, then I don't know what the hell I'm doing with my life, okay? So if because it's literally war games and that is not for kids if that's for kids I'm really lost right now I just really don't know just think about other youtubers like anything like Markiplier anyone that makes like scary games even that could potentially be marked as uh, content for kids because kids watch it and laugh at people getting scared but it's literally a horror game that could be like 18 plus. What can you do in that case? We don't know. And we have one month left. Think about people that made 3,000 videos or like 2,000 thousands of videos. They have to go through all of their videos and mark them correctly. Because if they don't, like half the videos could be fined with $42,000 and then you have not just a hundred times forty two thousand but you have a thousand times forty two thousand then you get to like forty million dollars it feels like I just came back to make YouTube videos at a very weird time right and I still haven't really found out what I really wanna be doing what I'm really like good at in YouTube what I wanna make special something you know different and it's been like two and a half months now that I've been doing consistent YouTube videos scheduled every time I haven't missed an upload except one time and then I made a bonus video for that 
like seriously what if i think my videos are not for kids and they say it is and i get fined like three hundred thousand dollars what am i supposed to do at that point right it's just weird and the only way we're gonna find out is to just wait and hope for the best i guess i'm, I'm still gonna be making videos at least at least it's not gonna be affecting me if it is i'm just gonna be i don't know I'm gonna stop it here, boys. It's all I had to say. And frankly, I think we should all be really afraid at this point to what could potentially happen to our channels.